Dear Diary, Yesterday I shot a moose. And today I got up bright and early because I was going back to that moose and get its ball sack. You know, to use as a satchel. Outside it was very cold. It felt like one degree out there. Or as the Canadians would say, a boot minus 17 degrees Celsius, eh? I was a bit worried that the wolf would still be there as well, because after hunting the moose, I had no more bullets left. I did have a plan for that though. I once read that wolves are afraid of fire. So I took along plenty of firewood, matches and tinder to light a fire while harvesting the ball sack. And I took along some flares for if I had to scare off any wolves on the go. So all in all, I felt pretty confident about this trip. When I got past the church however, I saw the wolf again at the same location it was the day before. So again, I ran for the hills and managed to elude the wolf once again. Wolves are so dumb. <laughs> After a big detour, I finally arrived at the moose. Oh, and there were some bunnies here as well. They are just so cute and Cuddly and um, all oh, oh right, the the moose. Let's see what 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 did I do next? Oh yeah, I proceeded to start a campfire to scare the wolf. Oh, and at this point to warm up as well. After I got the fire going, it was time to harvest the ball sack. And I figured I would also take some of its guts. They could function as handles for the satchel. And while I was at it, I would cut off some meat as well. Because moose meat is mmm mmm mmm. Can't have enough moose meat. It made me hungry just thinking about it. So I decided to cook some of that moose meat right there and then. And what's a great thing to do while the meat is cooking? Well, get more meat of course. At this point it started to get very windy and it was hard to keep the fire going. So I threw some dusty old church books on there. Now I was gonna have holy smokes moose meat. Tasted heavenly good. And now I wanted to harvest all the moose meat. But the fire was almost out and I had no more fuel to burn. So should I risk it? I decided to risk it. And I regretted it very soon after. Because what happened next 
will haunt my dreams for days to come. Oh shit! Get off! Get off! Get off! I had managed to fight off the wolf, but not before it bit me in the neck. I was bleeding bad, and I had no bandages. I had to run home. That's where I left the bandages. I had to move fast before I bleed to death. I was leaving a whole trail of blood. If that wolf was still alive, it would have no problem following me. But it didn't follow me. No, not follow. But somehow, it got ahead of me. I don't know how it managed to do that. Maybe it wasn't the same wolf. Anyway, I took out my flare and I would throw it at the wolf to scare it. But the wolf didn't react to it at all. So I got out a second flare and I would throw it right in its face. Nothing. It didn't even flinch. So, more running. No! Not the face! Get the f*** out of here! Ah! <sighs> this time, the wolf took a big bite out of my wrist. And I was so close to home. I just needed... to go... a little further. A little further. I finally made it back home. I went straight for the fridge because that's where my painkillers are. And next, the freezer to get the bandages and the antiseptic. I managed to apply it all, just in time. I thought I was gonna die today, but I made it, barely. Afterwards, I just wanted to sleep, but also, I didn't want that moose meat go to waste. So I ate the moose meat I cooked earlier, and the uncooked moose meat, well, I threw that in my big, big fridge. Yep, the outside. And then, off to bed. Yep, 12 hours of sleep again. And just before I dozed off, I vowed to have revenge on those wolves. The next day, my goal was clear. I needed to find more bullets, so I could get my revenge on those wolves. Or it would also be great to find new weapons to fight the wolves. Like an AK-47, or a flamethrower, or a bazooka, oh yeah. 
so I ventured out beyond Milton again. This time in a different direction. I ended up at a farm. I found the farmer, but he was dead. Looting his corpse seemed like the right thing to do. I found a door key and I took his underwear too. Because my underwear had gotten a bit uh, dirty after fighting the wolf. When I left the barn, I encountered the wolf again. Quickly, I used the door key to get inside the farm. And inside, I proceeded to loot everything. And even though I didn't manage to find any weapons, I did manage to find bullets. Lots of bullets. Bullets in the bathroom. Bullets in the study. Bullets on the kitchen table. And lots of bullets in the pantry. All in all, I found nine usable bullets for my rifle. So before I left the farm again, I loaded up my rifle. Now I was ready to get my revenge on the wolves. Oh yeah. But when I got outside, there were no wolves to be seen. Typical. Well, it was getting late, so for now, I just went back home. But the next day... The next day would be... Wolf Hunting Day!